Office 2010 Charts Changing the Scale. Over here we've got information on different schools, schools A, B, C, D, E and F, and um, how many learners they've got in their particular schools. And what we've done is we've created a chart to actually show this visually. So here's the schools A, B, C, D, E and F, and then um, using the bar chart we've now indicated how many students or pupils they have in each school. Okay, you'll notice that on your y-axis it starts at zero. Okay, that's your minimum value. And then your maximum value is 700. You'll also notice that it counts in intervals of 100. So it's zero, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, and 700. Okay, so the maximum number of students that we have or learners is actually just 600. So you don't necessarily have to show a maximum value of 700 at this point. So what we're going to do is you're going to select the values on your y-axis, right-click, and then select Format Axis. And we're going to have a look at our axis op um, options. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to leave my minimum value 0, but I'm going to change my maximum to, let's just make it 650. We don't need to go all the way up to six uh, to 700. Then uh, your major unit is fixed at 100, but I want to change that uh, to 50, and that's going to change the way uh, the chart actually looks. So let's make it 50, and we'll have a look at what it looks like now. Okay, um, then you can select OK. Right, and you'll see that the chart now looks slightly different. It has smaller intervals. Um, the maximum value is now 650. So you'll have to have a look at your data and decide um, what is going to make your chart easier to interpret. So whatever you change must make your chart or graph easier to interpret. You can also make changes to your horizontal or x-axis, or that's slightly more limited.